So I'll look back at May and how the store has performed over the past month. Um, definitely an interesting month, um, one where priorities um, were pulled in, in different directions with work, work and running the store. Um, so the month's highlights were obviously the May the 4th giveaway was a big one. Um, the Force of Creativity book for people spending over $75 in store, of which um, Kiwi Phil is the proud winner of that. And for the YouTube audience, there was the Commander Cody giveaway, of which Mick AUS, Oz probably, uh, is the winner. And I'm still waiting for you to reach out, Mick, if you're watching this, so uh, please do so I can get that to you. As anyone that's followed the vlogs will know, kind of we did the store relocation. Um, not once but twice over the course of the month um, and all of the credit of that goes to Mrs Yellowbrick Road. It was her idea to move from the room that we originally had planned into the even bigger room which required an awful lot of um, reorganisation in the house. Um, so all the credit lies to her and the work prove, workflow improvements of that I've, I've really felt kind of not least all the bending over, picking up tubs and stuff like that that I was doing before has has pretty much been eradicated to the larger extent. But equally, kind of having all of the drawers in one kind of location, especially the small drawers, that definitely sped up picking orders, which is um, good as we look to push on and increase inventory over the next month or two. There's been a significant increase in local buyers, kind of a 50% increase. Not all of those collections either, uh, and whether that is um, the, the downward pressure on postal costs, those having gone up recently, obviously that was, was that April or June that they went up? No, April, I think that was April, wasn't it? When they went up, so maybe that's having an impact there and people just shopping a bit closer to home. Um, but equally, it's good, you know, that it feels like perhaps the name of the store is getting out there and certainly from the conversations I've had with a few buyers when they've come and collected um, their choices about not traveling across the city to pick up orders and stuff like that have been an, a factor so that's good. Continued revenue growth through May although very slight this month um, which again kind of I'm quite pleased with because there wasn't a lot of new stuff going in the store as you'll see on the next slide. Um, the pressures of work work and that taking you away from focusing on the store is is as I've talked about in recent vlogs a bit of a roller coaster and until you get to the point where you've gathered critical mass I don't see that changing in the in the short term at least and we've reached one year on YouTube I'm sitting at 1119 subscribers as I'm recording this so uh, thank you so much to everyone that has liked subscribed shared commented um, it really has grown into something really, really fun and enjoyable. I love the banter that we have with viewers uh, and kind of the questions and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully the content on the YouTube channel is um, what you're after. If not, tell me. Leave a comment down below on this one. So as you can see, kind of, you know, we kind of started the month with um, increasing numbers and then... Um, as we got into this kind of part here where I added a lot of stock, it has since been a bit of a decline and now it's picking up again. Th oh, picking up again through June. My mouse often does that, where it just jumps around. Um, that balance, trying to flatten out these peaks and troughs, is something that um, I'm putting a lot of effort and thought into to how to best manage that uh, from a financial point of view and also from an inventory. Um, the quality of the inventory that's going into the store. No point adding uh, 40,000 dots because you're not going to attract um, the kind of volume of sellers that you need to keep that cash flow coming. So something that um, I'm working on. So the, the actual stats from the month, quite a change from April. Um, Bricklink orders down, but Brick Owl significantly up. Um, saw a lot of other vlogs like uh, Kiwi Bricks and stuff like that talking about um, how they were kind of considering exiting Brickal because of the fees from Brick Freedom and Rebrickable and stuff like that but um, yeah and then just as you start considering that Brickal goes and increases its sales by 10% so interesting 
Um, new used picked up 1% um, and given the amount of used that was added into the store uh, that still kind of shows where that um, balance lies really. Maybe my used pricing isn't as low as other people's. Um, who knows? But um, that's where we're at with that. Wrong direction. Colours. Everyone loves to know what's going on with the colours, don't they? Um, the usual suspects kind of nothing too spectacular there but um, light blue grey and black leading the way this year a month so total sales through May um, 182 sales which kind of is in that 180 mark as you can see we kind of have a month of growth and then we have a month of decline generally uh, and June is certainly shaping up like that as well um, 182 is not the highest but um, it's a decent it's a decent growth um, but as you can see kind of this year January onwards it's been fairly steady um, nothing too crazy of a fluctuation and in terms of revenue that bottom line there as you can see less than 1% growth growth all the same so I'm um, happy to happy to have that back in the green items sold um, that's an error that was up again uh, again 0.7% increase um, something to do with this it was like up 200 parts or something like that um, something going on with this file because when I preview it like this I get those figures um, but anyway there you go it was a slight increase in parts um, and the revenue and the increase in sales and parts matched each other this month which is a uh, pretty weird daily sales as you can see um, Bricklink uh, Brick Owl showing much stronger through the month of May um, with the spikes above the average not quite as frequent as it was in April but kind of good strong sales across all of the days um, so that is pretty pleasing I don't think there's a day there where Bricklink doesn't have a sale which is good what that's meant in terms of the daily sales um, Wednesday remains pretty solid um, interestingly kind of this doesn't really reflects how it feels Monday and Tuesday always feel like really quiet days and then it seems to pick up into the weekend but the actual um, graph of these combined sales from March through to May is showing that it's pretty steady uh, the beginning of the week being more popular ironically uh, with the weekend closely behind but that lull being Thursday and Friday and it, it certainly doesn't feel like that in practice in the store so um, this is an interesting stat um, probably going to have to adjust this so that this data stays relevant and, and able to get it on the screen in the next performance report but um, all the same it kind of shows you that um, both Bricklink and Brick Owl start the week off with a roar and then seem to peter out so the overview of figures um, as you can see it was 886 rather than 662 or whatever it was in terms of the items sold um, for the first month we started down on the total number of parts in the store um, every other month has been an increase and the lots similarly um, and that remains a challenge to keep your lots up definitely Bricklink fans ticking along nicely growing steadily and uh, that's just people that have actually followed the store which is good uh, and I did send out kind of a May the 4th um, email to people that have subscribed to the store it wasn't a great many of those but um, it's definitely an interesting tool and one that I might use future in the future a little bit more average sales per day remaining pretty st steady from 6 down to 5.8 to 6 to 5.8 to 5.9 um, we'll see what we are by the end of June as we stand it is a quieter month kind of we're tracking at about three and a half a day so um, it will have to go some towards the end of the month to pick up on that uh, perhaps the amount of sets that were released on June the 1st is having an impact uh, we shall see items sold we just talked about uh, we're up from 661 to 32886 so a good increase and total orders again back into that 180 mark which um, is always good YouTube subscribers obviously at the beginning of the month that's where we were it's increased slightly since then views down that's got to be because I didn't do as many minifigure shorts um, in May as I had previously and again 
something that I need to find more time to actually put to. Instagram followers, again, that kind of steady increase. Um, yeah, what you can do with that, I don't really know. It's just kind of more community and, and good engagement. Kind of, you get some good, kind of good conversations going on there. So I do enjoy that. In terms of store buyer locations, uh, tied between Queensland and Victoria, it's always between those two. This month, they are sharing the honours, as you can see. And what does that do to our position within the country? Well, it's no change, actually, despite um, starting the month down on parts. Um, a few interesting things in the WA market in its own. Uh, Basil Bricks and Slopey's Bricks are both closed at the moment, so they didn't show up on those scores, which added a couple of uh, newer names down in 9 and 10 there, but no positional change for my store. Uh, still targeting that half a million, so um, got to push on, but there's a long way to go to catch up to Ali's Bricks and Blitz. And Brick Warehouse remain the biggest in Australia and keep, keep adding, uh, so fair play to them. In terms of overall Australia, as you can see, there's a bit of up and down uh, around the place, um, but we stayed steady at number 15 in the country. Um, but as you can see, if we can get to 500,000, that'll take us close, close to the top 10. So looking forward, and I know we're kind of halfway through the month already, so it's a bit of a funny one, but um, new content ideas have been kind of formulating. Um, the part of value videos have started going out, uh, not doing too bad. Um, obviously need to get back to doing the minifigure shorts. Um, I've got a bit of a, a promotional kind of build giveaway thing to, to record later today uh, from Les DIY. Uh, it's a non-Lego brick building uh, set, but based on a rebrickable uh, designer, uh, by a rebrickable designer. So it could be interesting be interesting to see certainly for me what the reaction is from people about non-lego how many purists are out there the big goal is really the inventory levels still targeting that half a million um, this week i've been targeting putting up 2,000 parts a day um, I'm, a, I'm doing not too bad at that so far uh, thursday today not probably going to get that many in today but i got more than that in yesterday so swings and roundabouts and trying to push towards that 13,000 lots. It is so difficult to get those lots up there, but um, it's it's a target. Got a lot of used parts in the storage unit. Need a better plan and a better system for um, storing those. Um, so a little bit of thinking and planning required in that department to really fully capitalize on the amount of used and good stuff as well that is in the big bins that we've got um, in the storage unit and we are approaching one year July the 3rd we opened in 2023 so we're fast approaching the one year of business uh, need to have a little think about how to how to mark that landmark date and um, maybe a look back video maybe something like that but um, any ideas any questions on stuff like that that could become a Q&A about one year of business that'll be interesting and more giveaways. Um, as I've mentioned, kind of got this um, promotional item that's been sent to me to build and review. I'm planning on giving that away, uh, along with a couple of other things as we progress. Um, definitely got my eye on something for July for that store one year um, mark as well. So um, plenty to think about as always. Always so much to do, so much kind of admin and stuff that you, people never get really to see behind the scenes. But May's been a pretty steady month, not stellar. S solid growth, you know, a little bit of growth, a little bit, of, a little bit of development in terms of the story, location, and stuff like that, setting us up for success going into the second half of the year. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you found this insightful and interesting. If you have questions, please do leave them down below. Uh, I do try and answer everything. And um, thanks for watching.